Pony has your new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we're in the brand new 2024 BMW X3 courtesy of Apple BMW in York PA. For more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so today we're in the new X3 because this is a very popular SUV from BMW. You do get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well which is definitely pretty nice and this is essentially the SUV version of the 3 Series sedan. So ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different configurations for the 2024 x3 first one being the s drive 30i starting at forty six thousand nine hundred dollars then there is the x drive 30i starting at forty eight thousand nine hundred m 40i for sixty one thousand nine hundred and lastly the m going for seventy five thousand five hundred dollars and so as you can imagine with all of those different configurations there are a couple different engine configurations to go along with all of that to start the first power plant is going to belong to the 30i trim levels. That one is powered by a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 248 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 258 pound-feet of torque coming in at around 1,400 RPM. Power sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and a launch control. That's pretty cool. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately six seconds flat. Top speed, 130 miles per hour in case you're interested with MPG numbers coming in at 23 in the city, 29 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 21 city 28 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive but so then there is that next power plant belonging to the m40i that one is powered by a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder putting out 382 horsepower at 5800 rpm 369 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power sent to all four wheels yet again through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time approximately 4.4 seconds for that one that's pretty cool top speed still 130 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 21 in the city, 26 on the highway. And of course, that M version is going to be an even more powerful X3. That really is its own review in itself. So not going to touch too much on the M version in this particular video. But before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our X3, wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. There's actually some buttons located directly behind the shifter. Drive modes will include Eco Pro, Comfort, and Sport. Adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and the all-wheel drive system engagement then as well and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and by the way there is a full manual shift mode that's why i was looking down there for a second if you slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is actually going to tell you what gear you were in up on the digital gauges here and the digital gauges are amazing we'll get to those a little bit later in the video but let's go ahead and find that straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and Let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, so we are in sport driving mode. I got that set up. There's nobody behind us. Three, two, one, go. Quick, quick, I <laughs> love it. That's what I'm talking about, BMW. Usually they always crush it when it comes to paddle shifters, and that's definitely what's going on here in the X3. They are insanely quick. And the reason I put it that way, because they just test drove the new 5 Series and they weren't insanely quick. But in the X3, they still are, and I love it. So I'm just going to get back full control to the X3 yet again, slide the shifter back to the right. Let's go ahead and find one more straightaway. Let's put the acceleration here to the test with the X3 having full control. And let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 X3 here up to speed. All right, in three, two, one, go. Turbo lag. There it is. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, buddy. Man, once VTEC kicks in, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, plenty of an acceleration once you get higher up in the RPMs. I will say, like I said at the beginning there, there is a little bit of turbo lag as you typically do find with turbocharged four-cylinder engines, unfortunately. So maybe a mild hybrid system would fix that in the future. I don't know if BMW is even thinking about that. But having said that, 0 to 16, 6x flat, that is perfectly fine. You're not going to have any issues with merging onto the highway with this thing. But 
to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13 inch solid rear discs and that is for the 30i trim levels however if you were to jump up to the m40i that is going to bump up the size of the rotors as well giving you 13.7 inch front disc and 13.5 inch rear disc then as far as the 60 zero stopping distance goes that comes in at 123 feet for the 30i trim levels and then 112 feet for the M40i. That is sports sedan good without a doubt. And that's what I'm saying. Bigger brakes, better stopping power, of course. But having said that, in our 30i trim level that we have here today, as far as the braking feel goes, it's perfectly fine. It's not a super firm braking feel, but it's not a super soft braking feel either. 123 feet is plenty respectable. That's really above average for what this vehicle is so absolutely no issues when it comes to the braking then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent multi-link front suspension in the back independent five link rear axle front and rear stabilizer bars twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers and if you were to go with the m40i you will also get an adaptive damping suspension or there's a dynamic handling package for the 30i trim levels that goes for fourteen hundred dollars that's one i would recommend because again that gives you that adaptive damping suspension which essentially monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a smoother ride but it also does tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering giving you better handling as well so it gives you the best of both worlds but what i think most people would recognize with the adaptive damping suspension is it is going to be a much smoother ride compared to as if you don't have one so for that reason if you value a smoother ride in the x three i would definitely recommend that adaptive damping suspension as far as our ride quality goes in our short little test drive here today it's been perfectly fine so i've had no issues here so definitely absorbing pennsylvania's road at perfections quite nicely but again if you want the very smoothest ride go with the adaptive damping suspension as far as steering feel goes it is a noticeable difference dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in i still have it in that sport driving mode and it is a much heavier feel to the steering instantly pointing me in the direction that i want to go so i personally love the steering feel in the sport driving mode and then when you take it out of that driving mode let me go ahead and put it in eco pro or something oh my gosh it is an instantly loosey-goosey steering feel so it definitely loosens up that steering feel so a little bit something for everyone i'll put it that way but then touching on cabin noise we're going approximately 10 miles per hour right now so you can tell there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin but honestly even at highway speeds there as far as road noise and wind noise coming into the cabin it was pretty much non-existent and bmw typically does a pretty darn good job as far as creating a serene cabin in their vehicles so absolutely no issues with the x3 there then touching on visibility, I honestly can see perfectly fine out the back. And one of the best parts about the rear visibility is that those second row headrests, they really are pushed down into the seats pretty darn good, which definitely helps because usually that's not the case. Even in luxury vehicles, a lot of times those second row headrests are going to be super bulky and it's going to impede your rear visibility, but it is certainly not the case in the X3. So I do love that. Rain sensing windshield wipers do also come standard on the X3 for all configurations. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rain, Fault, it's got to automatically turn on these windshield wipers for you kind of like automatic headlights it's just one less thing you got to worry about there and one of the other things that we have with us here today is a head-up display that comes with a premium package premium package goes for three thousand four hundred fifty dollars it's also a standalone option though for eleven hundred dollars and so what i'm looking at right now projected upon my windshield here is my speed speed limit and then safety features um so that's definitely going to assist with forward visibility there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 BMW X3. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 BMW X3, finished in Alpine white, in case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the X3 is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the number five, indicating that the new 2024 X3 is built and assembled here in the US, specifically South Carolina. God love Myrtle Beach. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. BMW Active Kidney Front Grille does come standard with satin aluminum trim. That's what you guys are looking at, of course. To the sides, adaptive LED headlights do come standard. So you got to love that. Adaptive meaning when you're going around a bend at night, the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend. So you're less likely to hit a cyclist, a bear, a reindeer, whatever the case. So that is definitely a nice safety feature in itself. Gloss black accent 
accents are going to come standard on the M40i. So in your mind, go ahead and replace all these satin aluminum accents with gloss black. And that is essentially what the M40i is going to look like. You're also going to get a slightly different front fascia with the M40i as well. And you will get some M badging found in the front grille to go along with all of that. But down to the corners there, you will find front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, giving you a little better aerodynamics there. And you do have that satin aluminum front lip up front there as well. But again, replace it with gloss black if you go with the M40i. But pretty much you have seen this look before. It definitely still looks good in my personal opinion, but that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. It's up and now making our way to the side of the X3. Satin aluminum roof rails do come standard on this one. Gloss black roof rails though, coming on the M40i. Rear privacy glass also coming standard. Satin aluminum or gloss black window surrounds coming standard. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors also coming on this one. They will be power folding though. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals. And then if you were to go with that M40i trim level, you're gonna find a C-shaped design. So if you guys are familiar with BMW M cars, you probably know what that looks like already. But you will find some front fender vents. I do like seeing that and they are actually functional. And they're gonna have the M logo if you go with the M40i trim level. Body colored side skirts for the M40i and also the M Sport package for the 30i trim levels. We don't have that one. If you don't have the body colored side skirts, you get the satin aluminum trim found on the side skirts like you guys are looking at right now, of course. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. You're essentially gonna get 19 inch alloys regardless of the trim level that you go with. They are going to vary in design though, of course. So the M40i is gonna get a little sportier of a look, but I gotta be honest, these 30i wheels, they look dang good as well. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now let's see our round to the back of the X3. All the way to the top, you will find a body colored shark pin antenna. Just below that, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that, rear window wiper, of course. LED tail lights do come standard. I like the design to them. They are super bright as well. Gotta love that. And don't want to forget to mention, you do actually have some LED license plate lighting found underneath of there as well. So I always like to mention that because that looks cool at night. Also, you have like the video and subscribe lettering found on the tailgate itself. Of course, that's not what it says, but I have been doing this for nine years now. So if you do appreciate new car reviews, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But down below it all, you're gonna find some satin aluminum trim or gloss black trim for the M40i. I feel like I have to keep saying it, but nonetheless, you will find some dual exhaust outlets to the sides with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always here, is that exhaust clip. Alright, so but now since we are around to the back of the X3, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a power tailgate that does come standard. You got to love that. And a hands-free power tailgate is going to be optional, of course, but there is a button on the key fob itself and a button on the tailgate itself as well. But once opened up, car capacity comes in at 28.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 62.7 cubic feet. So they fold down pretty flat. That's essentially what that means. LED cargo lining does come standard, of course. There is a cargo cover also coming standard. Grocery bag hooks back there as well. You got some velour carpeting. You gotta love that in typical BMW fashion, of course. Netted storage found in the corners there tie down anchors as well and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you are going to find actually a substantial amount of in-floor storage which i love to see back there and i don't want to forget to mention there is a 12 volt power outlet as well so pretty much everything you could possibly want in the cargo area of the x3 but then making our way up to the rear leg room that comes in at 36.4 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there there is some rear ventilation of course there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as well there is dual phone charging ports that come standard as well there is a premium package i want to mention this because it goes for three thousand five hundred fifty dollars that gives you heated rear seats if you wanted that of course you get other stuff with that as well but Rear window sunshades then go for $250. We don't have them today, unfortunately, but they are available. Then make our way up to the front seats. Power adjustable sport seats coming standard. Memory settings coming standard for two different drivers, of course. Sense to tech upholstery coming standard, but there is a Vernasca leather that goes for $1,500 if you'd rather go that route. Heated front seats coming with the premium package. Ventilated front seats going for $500. Overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was plenty fine. The lumbar support was plenty adjustable, so 
absolutely no issues when it comes to seat comfort in the X3. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. And so the steering wheel is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped. And if you wanted a heated steering wheel that goes for $200 and that's located kind of towards the bottom portion of the steering wheel, we actually have that with us here today. So I like that. Then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key. You got unlock, you got lock is the BMW logo, of course, and then the button to pop the rear tailgate there. But it is all keyless enter with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and so once started up you are looking at a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster i love it because when you adjust the drive modes it just adjusts the colors a little bit as well so for eco pro you got the blue hues for comfort you kind of got the orange hues and for sport you got the red and white hues so definitely looks good i love that they're a little adjustable there gives you how many miles you have left until you hit empty your outside temperature digital speedometer and you got the navigation kind of set up right smack dab in the middle of those gauges as well so they definitely look good in my personal opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality and let me start by saying panoramic moonroof it is massive it's a 1350 dollar option for the 30i trim level that we have today and it does come standard on the m40i and it goes well into the back seats all the way through the back seats so you gotta love that anthracite headliner does come standard universal garage door openers for up to three different garage doors coming standard as well dual zone climate control coming standard dark oak wood trim definitely looks good coming standard multicolor ambient lighting coming standard as well and so what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull into this uh overhang here see if we can get some cool shots of the ambient lighting here but auto dimming interior lighting coming standard you got the wireless phone charger located just in front of the cup holders here so that's definitely nice and speaking of just behind that wireless phone charger the cup holders you got a 12 volt power outlet within the center armrest there's a decent amount of storage in there and there's a phone charging port in there as well and you got some lighting within there too you don't always find that but overall I do love the interior quality on this X3. They did a wonderful job. I liked how they finished the uh, uh, passenger side glove box handle in aluminum as well. That looks good. So overall, everything is finished just like you would expect a BMW to be finished. I'll just put it that way. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. You're gonna find a 10 and a quarter inch colored touchscreen display. And by the way, it is touchscreen, like I said, or there are a circular dial and buttons located just to the right of the shifter and it is voice activated if you want it as well. But Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system coming standard. And of course you can adjust your ambient lighting settings up there as well, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, you're gonna find a 12 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts that comes standard but there is an optional Harman Kardon sound system that we have with us here today. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That's pretty insane. BMW, I feel like they just always crush it with their sound systems. Like there's no denying that. That is a heck of a sound system. The bass was insane clarity was perfectly fine as well i'm getting so used to saying like literally every single bmw sound system that i am reviewing here is absolutely amazing but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen at least is when you do put the x3 in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board letting you know what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard frontal collision warning a blind spot monitor lane departure warning and speed limit recognition then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts dang quick paddle shifters that's something I always look for. I'm sure most people are not going to use the paddle shifters, but they are dang quick if you wanted them. I love the interior quality as well. I think our two-tune color options look good in this thing. I also like the wood trim as well. That definitely makes this thing look a lot more upscale. Digital gauges are great. I like that they change color as well when you change the driving modes. You do get three years of complimentary maintenance. Big fan of that as well. As far as room for improvement goes, there is a little bit of turbo lag. I said that in the acceleration test. It's not a huge deal. Just keep it higher up in the RPMs and you shouldn't have any issues there. And there's so many 
freakishly wonderful options on the X3, which is a good thing. But at the same time, this X3 can get pretty pricey pretty quick with all of those options. I'm just saying. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the 2024 X3 in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.